Hey yo, and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll cover the Dragon Tales series from beginning to end in detail. Dragon Tales is one of the most beloved shows that aired from 1999 to 2005. It has a total of 3 seasons and 93 episodes, so without further ado, let's jump right in. The show is set in the magical world of Dragonland, where two siblings, Emmy and Max, discover a magical dragon scale that allows them to travel to Dragonland. In Dragonland, they befriend a colorful group of friendly and talking dragons, each with their unique personalities and abilities. Some of the main dragon characters include Cassie, Ort, Zack and Wheezy, and Quetzal. Each episode typically revolves around the adventures and challenges faced by Emmy, Max and their dragon friends in Dragonland. They often need to solve problems and work together using their problem-solving skills and the life lessons that they learn along the way. These lessons include topics like friendship, cooperation, empathy, and the importance of making good choices. So kicking off the first season, Emmy and Max, two siblings who have just moved into a new house, stumble upon an ancient dragon scale hidden in a drawer. Reciting a mystical incantation inscribed on the case, they find themselves transported to the magical realm of Dragonland, where they meet friendly dragons Ord and Cassie. Together, they embark on a quest to help Ord find his lost tooth, encountering other dragons like Zack and Wheezy and their wise teacher Quetzal. Through heartwarming tales and adventures, Emmy and Max come to understand their connection to Dragonland and receive a dragon scale of their own, allowing them to visit this enchanted world whenever their friends beckon. Their return to the real world is marked by excitement as they look forward to more adventures and new friendships in Dragonland. Emmy and Max head to Dragonland again and join their dragon friends Ord, Zack and Wheezy in some colorful mushroom hopping. They meet Cassie, who introduces them to her pet caterpoozle, Poozy. While bouncing around, Poozy unexpectedly forms a chrysalis, causing Cassie to believe her pet is gone forever. With the help of their wise teacher Quetzal, the gang holds a touching farewell ceremony for Poozy and Cassie's sadness gradually subsides. They then embark on a mission to find Cassie a new pet and come across various creatures. Eventually, Cassie discovers another cater Poozle, whom she names Poozy 2. Quetzal reveals that Poozy has now transformed into a butter fairy, highlighting the cycle of growth and change. Cassie and her new friends share heartwarming moments before Emmy and Max return home, leaving Dragonland filled with warmth and friendship. Emmy and Max decide to venture into Dragonland, where they find their dragon friends playing freeze dance. However, during the game, Emmy's competitive nature leads to her getting eliminated twice, and she becomes frustrated, eventually leaving Dragonland. After some contemplation, she returns, realizing the importance of having fun over winning. With the guidance of Quetzal, Emmy learns the valuable lesson that games are meant for enjoyment, not just winning. She rejoins the game and even makes a playful attempt to fool her friends before ultimately deciding to resume playing soccer with Max back in the real world, having rediscovered the joy of playing games. Max and Emmy prepare for a snowy adventure in Dragonland, but their approaches differ. Max wants to bring toys for fun, while Emmy believes that the show itself offers all the fun that they need. Quetzal guides them to Snowy Summit, sharing a nostalgic memory of his youth. In Dragonland, Cassie is recovering from a cold, so Emmy decides to stay with her while Max and Ord explore the snowy landscape. During their adventure, Max and Ord get lost but remain optimistic until Ord's wings freeze, leading to a crash landing. Max's calm demeanor and cheerful song help them regain hope and they eventually reunite with Quetzal. Upon returning home, Emmy and Max share their respective experiences, with Max playfully mentioning a new friend he made in the form of a talkative rock. Max faces frustration while building a block tower, prompting Emmy to suggest a trip to Dragonland for some fun. In Dragonland, the gang discovers the dragons playing Dragon Tag, and Max becomes it when Or tags him. However, Max's inability to fly or run as quickly leads to mounting frustration, and he vents his anger by throwing a pod whipping at a tree, unintentionally releasing a creature called a Fury, which grows larger with his anger. Quetzal advises Max to learn to calm down when angry, and the gang helps him find and shrink the Fury by counting backward from 10, a technique suggested by Emmy. Max eventually succeeds and the Fury returns to its normal size, allowing Max to trap it again. Max learns the importance of managing his anger and they all resume their game of Dragon Tag, with Max tagging Emmy to become it. Max and Emmy start by playing with old, torn clothes, leading to a disagreement about their imaginative play. They decide to put on a puppet show in Dragonland, but a dispute arises over the roles, with Zack and Wheezy wanting to play the wolf instead of providing music. The argument leads to Zack and Wheezy leaving the group. 
However, they eventually realize they miss their friends in return, agreeing to play the wolf. The puppet show proceeds with all the dragons participating, and it turns out to be a great success. After the show, Max and Emmy discuss their next puppet show idea and playfully banter about the roles, ending the episode on a light-hearted note. Max and Emmy, along with their dragon friends, are tasked with building a new playground in Dragonland. Zack and Wheezy, who are usually attached together, decide to use a magical crystal to separate themselves temporarily so they can work independently. However, this leads to a series of challenges as they each struggle with their assigned tasks. Eventually, they realize that their unique strengths complement each other and they come up with a creative solution to make the playground even better by combining the elements they were working on. After successfully completing the playground, Zack and Wheezy use another crystal to rejoin into one body. Max and Emmy, inspired by their friends, briefly experiment with sharing a single body before realizing it's not as easy as it looks. Max and Emmy go to Dragonland with their friends for a special musical performance. Later, during a break, Emmy accidentally breaks Wheezy's trumpet while playing with it. Afraid of their friends' reactions, Emmy hides the broken trumpet in a plant, and the group realizes it's missing. Emmy is torn between guilt and fear of losing her friend's approval. She first tries to deflect the blame and get Quetzal's help to fix the situation. However, when that fails, she turns to Cassie to talk to Wheezy on her behalf, which only makes things worse as Wheezy blames Cassie for the broken trumpet. Finally, Max and Emmy decide to talk to Quetzal and seek his advice through a story. Quetzal suggests that Emmy should come clean and tell Wheezy the truth. When Emmy finally confesses to breaking the trumpet and expresses her fear of losing Wheezy's friendship, Wheezy forgives her, highlighting the strength of their bond. Emmy and Max head to Dragonland for a game of Dragon Ball with their dragon friends. Max wants to pitch in the game, but a misunderstanding leads to a fight between him and Emmy, resulting in Max hitting his sister. Coach Quetzal intervenes, teaching Max that hitting is not the right way to handle anger and that he should use words instead. Max is given a second chance, but struggles to control his frustration when things don't go his way. After another incident, he is given a timeout, but learns to release his anger in a non-harmful way. Max eventually returns to the game, and after a series of ups and downs, he overcomes his anger, kicks the winning ball, and manages to make it to home base without resorting to hitting. The episode ends with Max and Emmy returning home with trophies and sharing a light-hearted moment. Emmy is excited about her new yo-yo, but refuses to let Max play with it due to her fear that he might break it. Max tries it behind her back and ends up breaking it, leading them to seek help in Dragonland. There, they encounter a gnome named Simon who offers to fix the yo-yo if they win a game of Simon Says. However, his version of the game includes tricky twists, causing the gang to face various challenges and setbacks. Max initially struggles with following the rules, but he eventually learns to listen carefully and makes it to the end of the game, earning the repaired yo-yo for Emmy. Back in the human world, Emmy and Max play their own version of Emmy Says, strengthening their bond and ending the episode on a light-hearted note. Emmy and Max decide to visit Dragonland while waiting for the carrot seeds they planted for a school assignment to grow. They join Ord and Cassie in planting a garden in Dragonland, but Max's enthusiasm leads to mistakes and frustration. Feeling disheartened, Max decides not to help anymore and sits out. While the others go for lunch, Max remains and attempts to speed up the growth of the plants by using too much wonder water. This causes a giant stalk to shoot into the sky, carrying Max away onto a cloud. There, he meets a small character named Squink stuck on the cloud for a long time. Max tries to help Squink get down, but is faced with challenges. Meanwhile, his friends return to the garden and notice Max's absence. They eventually find him with the help of the giant carrot he grows on the cloud using Wonder Water. Max's heroic act saves Squink, and he returns home with a newfound sense of accomplishment, even if the carrot in their garden still hasn't grown. Max and Emmy, diverting from playing soccer due to their dad's lawnmower, visit Dragonland where they join a soccer game with Ord, Zack, and Wheezy. They encounter Mr. Pop, who uses a sound switcher device to steal Wheezy's laugh. The gang chases Mr. Pop to retrieve the device, aiming to restore Wheezy's laugh and the animal sounds he altered. Guided by a dragon frog and a dragon cow, they find Mr. Pop in a cave. Amid the chaos inside, they unintentionally scatter sound bottles and struggle to locate Wheezy's laugh. Zack uses the device to swap Mr. Pop's laughter for a donkey sound, striking a deal to return Wheezy's laugh in exchange for his own. After the laughs are restored, Mr. Pop apologizes and they enjoy playing with sounds in the cave. 
Returning home, Max and Emmy hear the lawnmower stopped and plan to play outside, with Emmy initially thinking Mr. Pop tampered with Max's footsteps, only to discover Max has hiccups from laughing. Max and Emmy, preparing for Quetzal's rafting trip in Dragonland, find themselves sailing on Dragoon Lagoon with their friends. During their adventure, they come across a unique creature called a Unicroaker, which Max names Hoppy. Max becomes attached to Hoppy and wants to take him home as a pet, but Quetzal explains the importance of leaving Hoppy in his natural habitat. Max tries to build a makeshift home for Hoppy, but it doesn't work out. When they hear the croaking of Hoppy's family, Max decides to return him to his home. With a heavy heart, Max bids farewell to Hoppy, but finds solace in the knowledge that he can visit him in the Dragonland anytime. To remember his adventure, Max hangs a picture of Hoppy on the playroom wall and receives Emmy's old stuffed frog as a comforting keepsake. Max and Emmy's day takes a delightful turn when they join their friends in Dragonland to help build sandcastles for the turtle dragons. After an unexpected wave washes away their creations, they persevere building new castles on higher ground just in time for the turtle dragon's arrival. When Mr. Giant inadvertently causes a minor earthquake, they ingeniously turn him into a gigantic sandcastle for the turtle dragons to lay their eggs. With their mission accomplished, Max and Emmy return home, sharing a cheerful moment of sibling laughter. Where's Emmy? Max decides to stay home while Emmy goes to the supermarket, but the dragon scale starts glowing, prompting Max to venture to Dragonland. There, he joins Ord, Zack, and Wheezy, who are helping a sea dragon named Maui find her sister Lenai. Initially reluctant to help without Emmy, Max eventually agrees to join the search. While exploring the underwater lagoon in a submarine, they encounter a giant octopus that demands they play a game to be released. After escaping, they continue their search without success. Max, missing his sister, wants to go home but eventually finds comfort in the company of his dragon friends. They reach an island where Max's realization that his friends make him happy leads them to Lenai, who is playing with doodle fairies. Max returns home and shares his adventure with Emmy, who, despite her initial skepticism, becomes intrigued by his story. Max and Emmy are building a tower with blocks using a toy crane when they realize that the tower might fall if they make a sound. So they recite the Dragonland rhyme to transport themselves there. In Dragonland, they meet Spike, a new dragon student who acts mean and distant. Quetzal pairs them up for a nature walk to find sugar plums, with Cassie partnering with Spike. Despite Spike's unkind behavior towards Cassie, she learns that he's lonely and doesn't have many friends due to moving to the school in the sky. Cassie stands up to Spike and they eventually reconcile when she helps fix his broken yo-yo, realizing that he's already cool. Back in the playroom, Max and Emmy's block tower still stands and they let it fall with laughter. Emmy and Max start building a pretend circus in the playroom, but their play is interrupted when Max's toy bulldozer crashes into a teddy bear. Emmy gets frustrated with Max and they transport to Dragonland. There, they join their dragon friends Ord, Zack, Wheezy, and Cassie, who are playing with a toy castle. Max, however, decides to use his bulldozer to plow through the tall grass, causing chaos among the Nodlings, who use mush trees for firewood. The giant of Nod appears and demands that Max repairs the damaged Nodling wagon. Max and the dragons try various methods, including glue, tape, and peanut butter, but nothing works. Eventually, they use a zip monk to pull the wagon, but Max accidentally scares it off, causing more chaos. In the end, Max teaches the Nodlings how to use his bulldozer and they successfully chop down the mush trees. Max leaves with the bulldozer and Emmy accidentally knocks over their block tower in the playroom. Emmy enters the playroom and Max tries to scare her with a rubber spider, but she's not frightened and says it's not scary at all. Then the dragon scale starts glowing and they find themselves in a garden with Quetzal who's collecting butterflies. They learn about the elusive Flutterby that he's never found and the gang decides to go find one. Ord, who's not a fan of bugs, reluctantly joins the search. Along the way, they encounter various insects and Max briefly captures a Flutterby in a jar, but it escapes. Eventually, Max's prank involving his rubber spider upsets Ord, who retreats to a cave. Max apologizes and finds Ord later. While searching for the elusive Flutterby, they encounter a clarinet snake in the cave, which the dragons soothe with music. They eventually find the Flutterby, and Ord decides to take it back to Quetzal to complete his collection. Max and Emmy return home, and Max gets rid of his rubber spider, but it scares their mom when she finds it in a basket. Now, kicking off the second season, Emmy and Max start the episode by making shadow puppets in the playroom and receive the call to Dragonland. They join Ord, Cassie, Zack, and Wheezy at the Dragonland Fair, excited about the games and food. 
Quetzal announces the start of the fair's games and the kids form teams. In the relay race, Emmy and Cassie initially lead but are surpassed by Zack and Wheezy. Max and Ord secure the pinwheels for their team. In the ball throwing game, Emmy and Cassie hope to win but are disappointed when Max and Ord throw the farthest. Cassie feels disheartened but a chat with Quetzal encourages her to rejoin the games. They all participate in bobbing for apples and Cassie and Emmy succeed using their feet, winning the final pinwheels. Back in the playroom, they plan their own contest, including a spaghetti eating challenge. Max and Emmy return home after a day at the fair, with Max feeling disappointed about not being tall enough for the rides. They use the dragon scale to enter Dragonland, where they join their dragon friends in a game of wiffle ball. However, Max's frustrations mount as a small size causes difficulties during the game. When Max accidentally loses a quarter and makes a wish at a wishing well to be bigger, he starts growing in size. At first, he enjoys being bigger than everyone, but his friends become increasingly concerned as his behavior changes, leading to disruptions. With the help of Quetzal and the new wish, Max returns to his normal size and they all head back to the playroom, where Max playfully pranks Emmy with a shadow before ending their adventurous day at home. In the playroom, Max and Emmy are about to enjoy some gelatin for a snack, when they receive a call to go to Dragonland, prompting them to set their snacks aside. In Dragonland, they join the dragons in a game of flying freeze tag, but the fun takes a turn when Ord and Max crash into something soft and bouncy. They discover it's a giant gelatin dessert, and decide to bounce on it, not realizing it's meant to be a surprise for Mungus the giant's mother's birthday. Mungus arrives, upset about the ruined dessert, and the gang offers to help him make a new one. Mungus provides a list of ingredients, and they all split up to collect them from various places in Dragonland, using creative ways to remember what they need. After gathering the correct ingredients, they successfully make a new dessert, surprising Mungus' mother, and return home to finally enjoy their gelatin snack and dance in the playroom. Emmy brings a detective kit to Dragonland, piquing Cyrus's interest. He sneakily swipes the kit, unaware that he left muddy footprints behind. The gang notices the footprints and decides to track him down. While chasing Cyrus, he gets tangled in a tree branch and loses his bow tie. Unaware that he's being pursued, Cyrus uses Emmy's magnifying glass from the kit to search for dragon gull eggs, believing he's on a treasure hunt. He finds the eggs and takes some out of their nests. The gang eventually catches up to him, demanding the return of Emmy's detective kit. Reluctantly, Cyrus returns the kit, but when he tries to take the dragon gull eggs, Cassie intervenes, reminding him that they don't belong to him either. Frustrated, Cyrus leaves empty-handed. After he departs, the dragon gull eggs hatch and Max and Emmy return home from Dragonland. Max and Emmy are playing treasure hunt in their playroom, but when they are called to Dragonland, they notice the aftermath of heavy rainfall. In Dragonland, the gang hears the cries of a lost baby flower they named Lily, who was uprooted and washed away by the rain. Determined to reunite with her parents, they create a makeshift plot with a beach bucket and shovel, carrying Lily as they embark on their journey along the creek. While walking, Lily appears droopy and Ord tries to comfort her with a lullaby, but it doesn't work. They realize she needs water, and after drinking from the creek, Lily perks up. As they stop for a snack, they unintentionally give Lily too much water, causing her to become sick. Cassie figures out the issue, removes the excess water, and Lily starts feeling better, shedding dry leaves and growing new ones. They continue their journey and eventually find a meadow filled with flowers, where Lily happily reunites with her parents. The flowers create Lay as a thank you gesture, and the gang says goodbye. Season 3 begins with Enric, a new neighbor who recently moved from Colombia to America, visiting Max and Emmy's house. The two siblings introduce Enric to the magical world of Dragonland, teaching him the rhyme that allows them to travel there. Season 3 begins with Enric, a new neighbor who recently moved from Colombia to America, visiting Max and Emmy's house. The two siblings introduce Enric to the magical world of Dragonland, teaching him the rhyme that allows them to travel there. Wish, I wish, with all my heart, to fly with dragons in a land apart. In Dragonland, Enric meets the friendly dragons Ord, Cassie, Zack, and Wheezy, as well as their teacher, Quetzal, who has a task for them. Quetzal asks the gang to help relocate a fish named Chips to a new home within Dragonland. Throughout the episode, Enric gradually overcomes his initial fear and becomes more comfortable in Dragonland. He explores various locations with the dragons, including the Stickleback Mountains, Turtle Rock, Rainbow Canyon, Knucker Holes, and even the mysterious Forest of Darkness, where Ord's fear of the dark becomes apparent. 
With the help of Max and Emmy, Enric learns the rhyme that will guide him safely out of the Forest of Darkness. As the kids return to Max and Emmy's playroom, Enric expresses his gratitude for their hospitality and for introducing him to Dragonland. However, Emmy reminds him of the importance of keeping Dragonland a secret, and Enric promises not to share their secret with anyone, looking forward to future adventures in this magical realm. In preparation for the Twilight talent show, Zack and Wheezy have their own acts planned. Wheezy is going to showcase her trumpet playing skills, while Zack is determined to find and incorporate a juggle bug into his performance for some entertaining tricks. However, when Wheezy starts practicing her trumpet, it turns out to be so loud that it scares away the juggle bug, leaving Zack disappointed. Emmy comes up with a creative solution by suggesting they use a comb to muffle the sound of Wheezy's trumpet, but Wheezy is unhappy with the altered sound. Facing this challenge, Zack and Wheezy decide to work together and take turns helping put the cone over the juggle bug to practice. This cooperation allows them to overcome the issue and make progress with their respective acts. However, another problem arises when Wheezy loses her sheet music, threatening her solo performance. Fortunately, the juggle bug steps in and helps Wheezy learn the missing part of her solo, saving the day. When the Twilight talent show finally arrives, Wheezy plays her trumpet while the talented juggle bug juggles and hums the melody of the trumpet, creating a fantastic and harmonious performance. This collaboration not only impresses the audience, but also results in the glowing of Zack and Wheezy's badges, highlighting the importance of teamwork and cooperation in achieving their goals. Max, Emmy, and Enric play Monkey in the Middle, with Max quitting due to his small size. They get summoned to Dragonland, where Ord's hug offends Max by calling him Little Buddy. But Ord amends it to just Buddy. Quetzal assigns them the task of finding plants and flowers for the school in the Sky's Garden. They split into pairs, Enric with Ord, Casey with Emmy, and Zack and Wheezy together, while Max reluctantly partners with Lorca. Despite Max's initial reservations, Lorca's wisdom reminds him to focus on his abilities rather than his limitations. Each pair faces unique challenges in finding their assigned plan, such as the squirting myrtle, feather flower, locking lily, and bashful herb. After inventive problem solving and cooperation, they successfully plant the flowers at the school, with Quetzal praising their teamwork and adaptability. In the series finale, Enric visits Max and Emmy, all eager to visit the Dragonland for a story time with Quetzal. Once there, everyone wishes for a story of their choice, but Quetzal asks Enric to choose one since he is a newcomer. Enric finds a story related to Quetzal in the book, prompting him to reveal that one of his adventures became so famous they put it in the book. Enric chooses the story of Quetzal, but he proposes them to go into the book and relive his adventure. Excited, they all head into the book and find themselves in front of the Mungus Giant's castle atop clouds. Quetzal reveals he was searching for a special book that belonged to a wizard named Sage, and he seeked the giant's help in his quest. Mungus guides them to the Ruffled Owl's place, who then asks them to follow a trail until it splits in two. He then asks them to follow the trail that makes them sleepy, and at the end of that trail, they will find Sage. At the split, they choose the one that takes them to a dark forest since dragons sleep in the dark. However, Quetzal reveals that turtles sleep during the day, making them realize that they have to choose the other meadow path. They return and find Sage's cave, where they ask her about the book. She reveals that she created a book that contained all the tales and wisdom of Dragonland. When the gang asks to see the book, she asks them to guess a promise in exchange for it. After contemplating, they realize that the Sage wants everyone to be able to read her book, which makes her bring out the book. Turns out, the book they had been seeking all this time was the magic storybook, meaning Quetzal earned that in his youth. They travel back to the school and then back to their home with a new sense of adventure. Upon their return home, Emmy suggests that they create a special book, one that captures all the incredible experiences they had in the magical realm. As they brainstorm the title for this remarkable book, Max suggests a rather lengthy and descriptive name. However, Emmy wisely advises them to go with a simpler and more elegant title, Dragon Tales. Dragon Tales is colorful and fun, with characters like Emmy, Max, and the dragons teaching important lessons about being a good friend and working together. The cool animations and catchy theme song make it even more enjoyable. Dragon Tales is a classic that teaches kids lessons while keeping them entertained, and it's still loved by kids today. Anyway, what do you think about the show? Was it among your favorites as a kid? Let us know in the comments down below, and as for everything else, drop us a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel for more cool tunes like this recapped on your feet. As always, thanks for watching. Peace!